Since 2018, thousands of persons infected with the human immunodeficiency virus HIV in Guyana have not been able to access routine CD4 tests, a special examination that measures the number of T-cells in the blood. Authorities say it is only available for new positive cases of the virus. The situation is compounded by the absence of viral load tests, which ceased as the COVID-19 pandemic reared in 2020 and 2021. Now, the National Public Health Reference Laboratory is reportedly only offering these tests on an emergency basis. The test is important because it gives HIV-positive persons an idea of how much of the virus is in their body, an important mechanism to gauge viral suppression. Guyana has agreed to, with the UN AIDS, to achieve viral suppression for 95% of its population currently being treated for HIV by 2030. In 2020, Guyana was pretty close to achieving that target at 87%, but in 2021, those high figures dropped to just over 20%. Why? The absence of testing to track the attainment of the goals has significantly contributed to the decline. When asked about this particular challenge in the public health system, Subject Minister Dr. Frank Antony said the government intends to purchase a new machine this year in hopes of addressing the situation and providing greater comfort to the country's growing HIV-positive population that has become unsettled over the absence of this very important test. We have, uh, as of this year, we have, we have purchased a new viral load machine and so that should be operational quite soon and we'll be able to start doing viral loads. That is very important because when we are tracking um, the management of patients and to know whether or not the treatment that we have been giving them, if it's really working, one way of measuring how it's working is to see that there's a reduce in the viral load of that patient. Dr. Anthony, along with head of the National AIDS Program Secretary at NAPS, Dr. Tariq Jagdarain, told the newsroom that their comfort is in the quality of treatment being offered locally, while also agreeing that the tests are important to track progress individually and nationally. Guyana also committed to ensuring that 95% of those living with HIV would know their status and 95% of those who know their status to be on treatment by 2030. But Dr. Jagdarain has noted that international guidelines no longer longer recommend CD4 testing as a means of tracking the success of treatment in individuals. One of the things is the guidelines, uh, they are not really recommending uh, CD4 testing. Mm -hmm. And um, while we are in other to do away totally with it in Guyana, we're going to focus at least to have the new infected case at least to have CD4 count on. Right. But currently we have some issues with labs in terms of getting the machine. We have a very old machine and so um, we're buying a new one this year and it's going to get um, the tender board to be approved. And once we get out, we can start back the um, viral load uh, before and, and, and the other test. Dr. Jagnarine said very soon routine viral load tests will recommence once the technical issue in the laboratory process is sorted. In the meantime, HIV-positive persons remain unsettled that the services are not available through the public system, although some private institutions offer the tests, sometimes at prices many cannot afford. The latest figures project that there are over 9,000 persons living with HIV in Guyana. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.